Hi, this is Andrew for Geek News Central. And this afternoon, we're going to have a look at the Loom Cube Panel Mini. This is a small LED light, which can be used for either uh, making sure that you look better when you're on a video conference, or it can also be for when you're perhaps doing a product review like this, and you want to make sure that the, the item under review looks its best. So I choose the Loom Cube Mini because this is, I say, this is a personal purchase. This wasn't sent to me for review. Um, I chose it because they are perceived to be the market leaders, um, but there are plenty of competitors out there. Trust me, I nearly bought one of the wrong ones by mistake. Um, and also I had a friend who had one of these and they thought it was the business, as they say. So, I mean, some of the features that I'm looking for is, is that it has a built-in battery, so I don't have to have cables trailing everywhere. And also you can adjust the temperature so the color, the, the temperature of the white can go from, uh, from if you like, the quite warm colors all the way through to the perhaps harsher blues. But they're all there. So let's just have a quick look inside. Now, I think there's a bit of cell tape here. Let's so tape there. Let's open up and see what's inside. Okay, so a little bit of desiccant gel. So here is the, the Loom Cube itself. Um, it's already within, you can kind of see, you can use it. It's got a little um, diffuser cover on it there. And we've got a USB charger. And one of the good things, is, and this is one of the reasons I actually chose the Loom Cube is it has a USB-C connector in it. And then you've also got a small mount, which will be handy for Either if, you, if you're going to be connecting this to, uh, you know, onto a camera, or if you, sorry, I need to adjust the focus there. There we go. If you're going to hand it onto, put it onto a camera, camera mount, or in my case, I have a, though you obviously can't see it because the camera's mounted it, I have kind of like a, a small rig bracket. So it has slots at the top that will take this, and it will mean that the camera can very neatly, or sorry, the light can very neatly sit on top. Okay. So there are, there are, there appear to be zero instructions. Maybe some, oh no, there's instructions. There's instructions under the box. So you do get some instructions. I thought for a minute that there was nothing there. So just uh, taking it out of its diffuser, there's the, the light itself. Um, and looking around, you've got the, the thread connector for, for this there. It's a bit hard to see in this. Uh, this is why I need more light. I, had, I did have one of those big ring lights, but they were just too unwieldy and were constantly getting in the way. Around the back, it looks like you've got an on-off, and looks like, I'm gonna guess here, this allows you to control this little rocker, kind of roll rocker, that allows you to adjust the, the color, well, maybe not the color temperature, maybe it is of the brightness, because that's the other thing you can do here. So let's try turning it on and see what happens. Yep, so hopefully you can kind of see that's pretty bright. I like that. Okay, and it tells you Looks like here I've got about 3.6 worth, or 3.8 worth of hours, 3.6 back again, 3.8, can't make up its mind. Um, I've got 5% illumination here at the moment, and the color temperature is 3,200 Kelvin. So what happens if I tweak it? Oh, right, so this is adjusting the brightness. You can kind of see that until it gets really very bright. Ooh. Okay, and I'm gonna guess that if, and look at the, look how much the time has gone down 16 or so, I've just so nearly quarter of an hour, and the time is just going down. Now, I'm going to guess that if I press this button here, it's going to move it onto the color temperature. And now, if I use the rocker, it's going to adjust. So, hopefully, you can, it might not show too well, but I can certainly see it here that I've got a very yellow color, and now it's becoming much whiter. I don't know if you can you see that. No, I mean, unfortunately, the well, you might get it a wee bit. That's quite. That's the very bluest, really up there. And if I bring it down the other way, it becomes more yellow. So you can see it a little bit in the camera, but you get the idea. So, and you've also got the charger there. So I shall just reduce the brightness again, so it's not quite doing everyone's head in. So you can get down as one percent. Okay. And I've just spotted there's another, I can't really see it, but there's, sorry, let's see it. There is another mounting hole here, so if you need to 
we need to run it in a an upright or a portrait orientation rather than the usual one. There is a mounting bracket there as well. Okay, well look, um, I've only been using this for five minutes and I'm already very pleased with my purchase. As I think I said at the beginning, this was a personal purchase. I didn't get sent this review for review. So I'm pretty happy with my purchase already. Well, look, I think we'll just wrap it up there. This is Andrew for Geek News Central. Hi, this is Andrew, and we're back with the Loom Cube Panel Mini. So I've been using the little light for a couple of weeks now, and I wanted to report back on what I thought of the light. And overall, I'm very impressed with it. It's a great little device. It uh, effectively does what it says on the tin. It's nice and small, uh, fits easily into your gear, and yet it provides a good level of illumination uh, that you can adjust the relative brightness of it, and you can also adjust the, if you like, the color temperature of the white. So it's just a great little device. It's easy, as I say, it's easy to use, so if I want to make it brighter, I just use the little, little rocker here, and then if I need to change the color temperature again, I can just flick it down here, and it'll swap, sorry, press the wrong button there. It'll, it'll swap between the very kind of blue down to the cooler yellows. You can't really see that in the footage, but it works really well. And it's great for either doing pieces where you are doing a review for an item on the table, or if you need to do a piece to camera where you can very much adjust the color temperature of the light to match the ambient surroundings. So overall, a great little device. Any downsides? Well, I think sometimes the uh, the battery life or the light time life is a bit optimistic. If I so if I just change it so that I'm doing 100% illumination, you can see that the estimated time drops to 1.2 hours. Um, I think that's probably a slight overestimate. Um, I think you're probably looking at a good a good hour, shall we say? Um, which I think is still is quite impressive for a small device like this. Um, now, my, uh, my only other quibble really is about the cover and its use with the little mount. If I pop the little mount in here, or screw this into the little hole, what, you, what actually happens, come on, keep going, is that it, in order for me to tighten this up so that it doesn't slip, you kind of get this distortion of the diffuser. Now, I know in reality it makes almost zero difference, but I'm just trying to wonder why they didn't actually make the the cutout for the diffuser just that little bit bigger so that uh, when you screwed it in the whole of the the black washer actually goes in and it, it you know it goes up against this uh, the metal case so I'm just not sure why it is but just whilst we're talking about the metal case um, I mean I do think the the loom cube itself is is well made you know there's definitely there's definite sturdiness to this uh, I'm, I'm not suggesting you would but I think you probably, uh, you know, if you drop this on the floor, it's going to survive, I think, pretty well. So, so it's definitely, definitely, I would say it's a, it's a well-built little device, and it's probably a bit of an element of you get what you pay for. And in that theme, um, I paid sixty-nine pounds for this, which I think is pretty much the list price. I didn't really see any good discounts on it. Um, I just got it through through Amazon, uh, and as I said, I think in the earlier section. Uh, this I, I paid for this myself. This wasn't a, sent to me as a review unit or anything like that. So overall, I'm I say I'm really happy with my purchase. I think it's a great little unit, perfect for the kinds of things that I'll be doing as a erstwhile uh, uh, blogger and vlogger. Or, um, if you want to know more about it, obviously you can go on to some of the major online retailers and have a look or you can go along to their website which is just as you might expect loomcube.com loomcube.com and they actually do have a number of tutorials on the website which are kind of worth looking at if you're just beginning to to get into into the space as it were so i mean i think that pretty much covers it all as i said nice little device uh, pleased i've spent the money definitely a, a nice little solution that works well with my small rig uh, which can you know can either be mounted on the end of a telescopic arm or can go on top of a tripod, so um, it's all very handy. So look, this is Andrew for Geek News Central, wrapping up the Loom Cube Panel Mini. Thanks very much.